morning, everyone. Today we're going to read Snow Day for Mouse. Is it a snow day where you are? It's not here, not today. Today it's nice and sunny, but I do like the snow in the background. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Mouse woke up on a chilly morning. He peeked outside. What an icy, lacy, snowflakey day. Three birds huddled together on the telephone wire. Poor little quivery, shivery birds. But inside, Mouse was warm and dry. No worries for Mouse. Looks like those birds are getting ready for a trip. They have a suitcase and their camera and a map that says Mexico on it. Maybe they're going someplace warm. Down in the kitchen, Mom turned on the radio. Cat rubbed against her legs. Dad went outside to shovel the walk. Snow day, called Mom. No school. Hooray, yelled the kids. Let's bake cookies. They mixed and baked and frosted and decorated. Then the kids bundled up in their snowsuits and raced outside. One fat round gumdrop rolled off the table and bounced higgly piggly into the corner. A treat for Mouse. Mouse crept across the floor, one step, two step, silent mouse. He didn't see cat, padding and prowling, greeny eyed and greedy. Mouse bent to scoop up his prize. Cat crouched and dad came to in, stomping snow from his boots. Not in my clean house, said mom. She grabbed the broom. Snow clumps, cat, the gumdrop and mouse whirled out the door. Uh-oh. Thump. Mouse landed in a snowdrift where he climbed out. What a sight met his eyes. Heaps of snow like mounds of mashed potatoes. Flakes of snow like powdered sugar. The chilly birds fluffed up their feathers and chirped. Hello, birds. Have you seen my gumdrop? The birds shook their heads. Mouse looked around. He saw a frozen puddle, an ice rink for Mouse. On tippy toes, he waltzed across, skating figure eights, and bowing to the friendly birds. He didn't see Cat, ears flattened and tail twitching, hiding behind the bare rose bushes. But he did see a mouse-sized hill, perfect for sledding. He slid down on a curled leaf toboggan, faster and faster, picking up speed until he landed in a heap at the bottom. He didn't see Cat, head down and tail up, ready to pounce. The little birds cheeped, watch out, mouse, run! Plop, a dollop of snow from the telephone wire dropped on Cat's head. Cat twitched his ears and stalked away, flicking the snow from his paws. The birds cheered, all clear. Mouse crept out of the downspout. He rolled snowballs. He made three fat snowbirds and a snow mouse with a berry for a nose. The birds on the wire bobbed their heads. Now Mouse was cold, his paws were chilly, tummy empty, time for something sweet and crunchy. Where had that gum, yummy gumdrop gone? Hot chocolate, called Mom. In ran the kids, all snowsuited, heavy booted. Mouse scampered between their feet, undetected, unsuspected. The kitchen smelled cinnamon spicy. Mouse snacked on crumbs. Soon he was warm and not so icy, but he remembered the quivery, shivery, hungry birds. The next time the door opened, Mouse was ready. Out in the backyard, Mouse sprinkled his crumbs on the snow, sharing, caring. Hungry birds, come get your treat, a gift for my new friends. That was nice of him. The snow turned pink in the sunset light. The birds chirped their thank yous. No gumdrop for Mouse, but something better, a warm and toasty feeling deep inside. Happy Mouse. Oh, and look, he made some, some snow um, uh, snowflakes too made one that looked like all his different bird friends. <laughs> well, that was a cute story, wasn't it? Yeah, Mouse was very kind. And he didn't do anything to hurt Cat. He just tried to stay away from him. <laughs> all right. Have a great day, friends. I hope you enjoy whatever's going on where you are. Maybe it's snow, maybe it's sunshine, but I hope you get out and enjoy it. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye.